Alrighty guys, Jared back. So we're obviously going to have some new viewers and some existing viewers with brand new Nexus 5s. Um, that said, we're going to be rooting our Nexus 5 today. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is click in the link uh, in the description below this video and that'll take you to this particular XDA thread from uh, Chainfire and he's of course made CF Auto Root, which makes it extremely easy and painless to root your Nexus 5. Now all of the instructions here are basically going to be um, displayed in this video. I'm basically just doing a visual representation of all these uh, instructions here. So this obviously is for the Windows method. Of course, you can always use the Linux and or Mac uh, method. All the files are included in his download. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down to the second post in this thread and you'll notice it says download CF Auto Root Hammerhead, by the way, for those of you that didn't know the code name for our Nexus 5 is Hammerhead. So what you would then do is go ahead and click on that. That'll take you to the next page. And then you just go ahead and scroll on down to the very bottom and you'll notice here that it says CF, or sorry, download download CF Auto Root, go ahead and click on that. It'll download in just a matter of seconds. It's a very small file, about eight megabytes or so. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and grab that file and maybe just place it somewhere really easy to find, like make a folder like I have on your desktop. Uh, just call it Nexus 5 CF Auto Root, drag and drop the folder, or sorry, the file in there. Um, now, for those of you that have never rooted a phone before, or those of you that have rooted a phone before, chances are you either do or do not know what Android SDK is. This is important to avoid issues down the road while doing the installation method um, to avoid getting the little um, you know Android logo with the red exclamation mark up there. So uh, if you don't have Android SDK, you don't know what it is, um, you're probably going to want to download it and Chainfire has made it very convenient by actually posting it, uh, a link to it right here. So as you can see, make sure you download that. Uh, if you have already downloaded it but you haven't updated to the latest uh, Android 4.4 packages, I recommend that you do so. Now for me, in my particular instance on my computer, it's located under my computer in the C drive, the Android folder, and you can see that it's got SDK manager there. Go ahead and open that up. Uh, for me, it's going to take just a moment. All right. Now, once it's loaded up, you'll notice, um, or you, you may notice if the uh, files haven't been updated already, where it says install packages right here. If it needs some updates, it'll actually have a little number of the of the uh, amount of files that it needs you to update. But the most important ones that you really need to update is right here where it says Android 4.4. Now, if it's not already checked, you can go ahead and check this box there right next to Android 4.4 API 19. That'll auto check every other box for you. And then just go ahead and click install packages. Um, and then that all end up installing. Depending on the speed of your computer and your internet speed, um, could take a minute, could take five to ten minutes like it did for me because I'm using my crappy netbook here. Now once you've done that, we've got all those files updated and we're ready to go. So what you can then do is go into CF Auto Root folder that you created and you'll notice we've, that uh, the CF Auto Root file is a zipped up folder. So we're going to need to extract that. Use your favorite extraction program. I'm using WinRAR. I'm going to go ahead and click extract here and it extracts a bunch of extra ones. The one that we're gonna be using for Windows is this one right here, root windows, and on the side, as you can see, it says batch file. So in order to use this, we need to put our phone into fast boot mode. So um, at this point in time, this is where you're gonna probably want to back up any files or anything like that from your phone that you might wanna save because this method can and will wipe your device. Now, once you've done all that and you're ready to go, go ahead and power off your device like mine is right now, and we're gonna put it into fast boot mode by um, pressing and holding the volume up and power buttons simultaneously until we get to the next screen, which is right there. So leave it there, and now we can go ahead and plug in our um, phone to our computer with via USB, micro USB, which way do I put it in here? There we go. All right, so I'm gonna try and put this, well, try and keep it in the shot. So um, you'll notice also that it might um, install some additional um, drivers or files once you plug it in, that's okay, let it do its thing. Um, so now we're ready to go. So all we have to do now is literally go down to this uh, executable file and just double click and just follow the instructions. So it's gonna say, you know, your data may be wiped, which most likely will be yada, 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 OEM unlock, etc. Just go ahead and click any key to continue. You'll notice that this screen pops up, says unlock bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be installing custom operating system software on this phone, custom OS. Well, basically, you guys can read it yourself or if you wanna pause the video. So we want to unlock the bootloader, keeping in mind that it may void the warranty, which we've all, um, oops, probably want to. Yep, so you're gonna use your volume rockers to scroll up there, and then you go ahead and press the power button as the enter key, so we'll go ahead and press that. As you can see, it is now doing things such as erasing, it's doing a bunch of stuff on your phone. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, press any key to continue. 
So we're gonna go ahead, oh, and we've done that already. So now it's downloading boot image. Your phone is rebooting right now. Um, as you can see, it even says in the uh, window here, it may take a minute or so. As you can see, the CF auto root process is starting. And it says rebooting in 10 seconds. If you might be able, if the camera will focus. Uh, there we go. And back to here, as you can see, uh, press any key to continue. Phone is now rebooting. We're gonna go ahead and press any key to continue. And that was it. And we're gonna go ahead and double check that our phone is in fact rooted once it fully boots up. So let it do its thing. It's gonna take a couple of minutes um, and uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, so the phone is finally starting to reboot here. You'll notice down here in the computer it's saying, you know, Google Nexus ADB interface drivers were installed successfully. So it's going to um, start installing uh, just a couple of drivers, you know, no need to be alarmed. Go ahead and leave your phone plugged into the computer still. Alrighty, and we're all fired up and rebooted. So we obviously still, because it wiped our device, we still have to go through the setup process. And then I'm going to go ahead and double check that root was successfully installed on this device. So give me just a moment to set this up. Alrighty, and we're back, and that took a long time because <laughs> I had to restore all my account uh, data and whatnot. Um, anyways, so once your device is fully booted up and you finish the setup wizard, what you're going to do is go ahead, head on over to the Play Store, and in here, we're going to type in Root Checker. All right, and then the next one you're going to want to download is this one from Joey Crim. So go ahead and check on that. That's the one I use anyways. And we're going to go ahead and install, bloop, just like so. And yes, and wait for that to install real quickly. Um, while that's doing that, we can head into here and double check that SuperSU has in fact been installed. And as you can see, yes, it has been installed, which is generally a really good sign that we are in fact rooted. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the uh, root checker application. Go ahead and click agree. We're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna click verify root access. It should give us, yep, there it is, requesting super user access. Go ahead and grant that. That's usually a really good sign. And of course, as you can see, congratulations, this device has root access. It was that easy, folks. Um, you know, if I wasn't making a video, this probably would have taken me two minutes uh, or less, um, with the exception of, of course, the whole setup procedure. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any issues or technical support questions, things like that, I do recommend that you ask them on the actual CF Auto Root thread for the Nexus 5 or Google is your best friend. I'm sorry, unfortunately, I get I have a lot of videos out there of this type of nature and I get a lot of technical support questions and if I was to start answering them, I would never get any videos done. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful um, and useful. If you did, click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future as well as other mod Nexus 5 ROM videos and mod videos and so on and so forth. But that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.